All right, everybody, before we start, let's do a couple songs and dances. So I'm going to get everybody to get up off your feet and follow along with me. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, shout hooray. If you want to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you want to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you want to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you want to read a book, take a seat. If you want to read a book, take a seat. If you want to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you want to read a book, take a seat. Yay! Hi, my name is Ezra Jin, and today we're going to read The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading, the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blurk, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I want to read. And I have to say, every word the book says, uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true, I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading now? Please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? What? Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like... Oh, no. No, here it comes. Glurk, I walk, oh, my grandpa, I do. Aye, 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 brog, brog, brog. Oomph, eemph, blaggity, blaggity. Glibbity, globbity, glibbity, glibbity, beep, boop. Badango face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Let's do another song. So everybody up on your feet. This one's to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus. The dress on the drag queen goes swish, swish, swish. 
swish, 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 swish. The dress on the drag queen goes swish, swish, swish all through the town. The heels on the drag queen go click, 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 click. The heels on the drag queen go click, click, click all through the town. The jewelry on the drag queen goes bling, 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 bling. The jewelry on the drag queen goes bling, bling, bling all through the town. The hair on the drag queen goes flip, 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 flip. The hair on the drag queen goes flip, flip, flip all through the town. Great job, everyone. All right, today we're going to read The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly, quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on her bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please, sign it. The end.